It's your girl, Miss Dimples, dropping the T in MKE. Make sure you hit that notification button and that subscribe button. Today's guest is going to be Dr. Kool-Aid. How you doing? Today's talk is going to be why do men and women cheat? Dr. Kool-Aid, can you answer this question for me? Why do men cheat? Well, I have never cheated, but I have been cheated on. But the reason why a lot of men say that they cheat because that they they uh they woman is not faithful. Even in the relationship that if you look at porn, for some reason, uh, a lot of women say that's offensive. That's like you cheating on them if you look at porn. So a lot of guys look at porn, looking for, uh, uh, I, I guess, for another woman, but lusting after lusting for something else that they don't have. And I think that kind of breaks up the relationship because they look for something that, that they already have. And uh, so what, have you ever cheated? No, I never cheated. I've been cheated on before. Uh, I've been cheated on, abused. Uh, I mean, you can name it. That's why I left the relationship, because I wasn't going to stand there and accept you cheating on me and you abusing me too. That's two strikes. Why would I stand in a relationship with somebody unfaithful, you abusive, disrespectful? I'm not staying in no disrespectful relationship. That was my first relationship I had. That was the one where I was cheated on, um, and I, it, it messed me up because I'm looking like if two people in love and you're in a relationship, why would you cheat? If y'all in love with each other, I mean, what you looking for outside a relationship? So were I'm you the one. Yeah, we was committed. I was married. Oh, okay. So I was married to this man. Um, so I don't know why he would cheat on me. Um, you know, you got some women out there. That's, it's intimidating. You got women out here dressing half naked. You got women know the man's married and they still pursuing the man. Right, right. So it's a lot it's a lot going on in relationships and yeah. so And on the flip side of that, I I was in a relationship for ten years. I took care of this woman, I mean waited on her hand and foot, even I was went to slave for twelve hours. And come home still treated like she was a woman. You know, she was my lady, you know what I'm saying? And I really I appreciated her. But not knowing it all the time that she was always scheming on me. I never knew it until at the end and when I found out. So she wasn't happy in relationship. She just stayed there for financial reasons. Correct. Oh, okay. Yeah, there ain't a reason to stay if you're not happy because you making me think, I mean. Right, right. You, you leave me on thinking that me and you in a relationship, but we ain't even in a relationship. You over there scheming. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, yeah. You're just looking for a place to stay. You know what I'm saying? Till you come up. Don't use me as a come up. We supposed to be coming up together. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so and you used to come home. You used to go to work. You worked. Worked 12 hours. Like a Hebrew. And when you come home, wasn't was dinner? Was the food cooked? The house cleaned up? All she did was sat there, watched TV, and drunk beer. <laughs> that, I'm laughing because if you sit there drinking beer all day, you could be working a job. Why what? are you sitting there drinking all day while I'm at work 12 hours and I come home and you ain't done nothing? The house ain't clean, my dinner ain't cooked, and you laying there like, what? You ain't got to do nothing. This man taking care of me. So that's was that the agreement y'all had for you to take care of? No. For her not to work? We supposed to be a, we supposed to have been a team. We supposed to be trying to build each other up. Not one, or not, it's not a, a relationship is not a 60-40 or 50-50. A relationship is 50-50, not 60-40, 90-10. If, if whatever you put in that relationship, you're supposed to get the same thing out of it. And I just feel that when I put my heart on my sleeve and I'm just holding my stuff out there and trying to show you that, you know, I'm trying to be the king that God made me to be. But yet you ain't even trying to help me out. You ain't even in my corner all the time. You you stabbing me in my back. And I'm thinking you down for me. And then you, once a woman, I noticed this, and, that, and I hate to say this, but when a, a single woman talks to a woman that has a man, that single woman give her negative feedback. Girl, look at look how that nigga. He don't supposed to be doing that. And that was my that I was me. I'd be doing this and doing that. And she what she doing is just feeding her relationship, her bad relationship to in the relationship that you have. But yet, when you try to explain that to some women, they don't want to hear that because that's their friend. They know it all. You know, and, and you know that kills a relationship right there. You can't tell everybody the business. That's what basically. You know. Oh, okay, true. Um, a lot of things I've seen in relationships is that you the last one to find out that your significant other is cheating on right. you. And everybody know they laughing. Ain't nobody came and told you, hey, 
he out here cheating. But you know mm-hmm. something now, nine out of ten, the woman already know. Mm-hmm. A woman would know she have an instinct and she already know. A woman could be cheating for 10 years, 15 years, a man will never know. But a man, a woman's gonna, what they say, a cat, a woman like cats and men like dogs. Women are sneaky, you will never know. She could be unfaithful for years and you wouldn't even know. Mm-hmm. She's not happy in a relationship, so she go out and she come home like it's normal. Mm-hmm. Like, you know. So I don't know. Well, I believe I believe that was happening in my relationship. But I'm at work, you know what I'm saying? When you say when the cats away, the mice will play. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So I believe that, you know. And then I, you know, a couple of my my friends, you know, they try to tell me things, but I'm like, you know, I don't want you to tell me anything because then, I, you know, if anything did go wrong, it, it is going wrong. Why it's going wrong in my relationship? But I want to hold you accountable before because you could have been like, you could have been told me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And. So when you try to get stuff secondhand, it's best for you to see it for yourself. And then, you know, you can't put blame other people in your relationship because a lot of people try to blame other people. It's because of you. Uh, my relationship was like that. No, the relationship was already going away. You just didn't catch on to it until it was too late. Would you stay in a relationship if the woman, if your woman got pregnant by another man? Would you stay there and raise that man, baby? No. No? Why? That's because I, I, that's... To me, that is the most hurtful thing you can do. Another man raising them. Now, I, now, let me take it back. I have been in relationships with women that have kids, you know, and I, and I treated them just like they're my kids. But if she got pregnant by while we was in a relationship, no, I can't handle that. that that's, that's that's the guys on the truth. I wouldn't be able to handle that. Yeah, I don't think I could handle it either. If my man got another woman pregnant, I would be gone because <laughs> I think they going to still have a connection with that baby. And I don't know if he over there sleeping with her. They had right. a relationship. And you don't know, you know, if he going to leave you. And, you know, you, don't, you really don't know. So if a man get a woman pregnant, I don't think I'd be able to stay. As you can see, these 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 relationships now, they show on TV. The woman and the man be cheating. Don't even know they got no baby until they get on TV. Then they find out there's a baby. But you don't have five. You have been slept with five or six people. You know, that's crazy in itself. You know what I'm saying? Then I haven't seen... Well, they had a, a lady, she was 35 years old. She had slept with 12 dudes. And she was married. And she was married? And she was married. That's what I just said about the women. Women could be cheating for years and 12 men. How the man didn't know his woman was sleeping with 12 different men? They found out on the video. Oh, yeah. They posted a video of her. Yeah, she can catch all kind of diseases. Too many diseases going out here. And I'm not trying to catch nothing. From nobody. You see with all these different people. Mm. There's diseases out here, transmissions, mm. AIDS, no cure for AIDS. Yeah, um, then you sleep with all these people. So all 12 of them people that she was sleeping with, if one catch it, all 12 yeah. of them going to yeah. catch it. Yep, and she got it. And she, she got it too. And she'll have it. Oh, yeah, yeah she'll have it too. If she right. sleeping with 12 different men, right. uh, your pH balance is off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, and you don't know, know who them twelve men sleeping with. Right, right. If right, you right. sleep so, with twelve men, they might sleep with twelve. One probably sleep right, with twelve right, women, right. or they going back home to their girl, and, and then sleeping with her. Yeah, and then the woman at home, she faithful, and you out here she, sleeping with all these different. Uh, uh, oh, the woman, the man at home, and you out here sleeping with all these men. So like I'm going out hanging out with my girlfriend. That's too <laughs> much hanging out. Twelve of them, so you gone every night. You gone 12 days straight. Are you doing it in the afternoon on your lunch break? No. She was in a party. And she, they ran a train on the 12 dudes. Ran a train on the lady. She let 12 men at one time? At yeah, one time. Where you see that at? That was on the, the Morin show. Girl, how could you handle uh, 12 men? That's a lot. Mm, one just, enough for me. You just nasty. That's all that if is. that's what it is, she nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Kool-Aid, you, thank you for your input. I appreciate what do y'all think about um, cheating? Mm-hmm. So what is y'all input on cheating? And make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification. Hit that subscribe button and notification. We'll be back. Peace. Deuce. Deuce. Stopping the tea. Miss Dimples and MKE. Folks, show.